population may in fact have bragged about the fact that they have been doing extra billing and the government has been aware of it. He said the province it needs to do a better job of enforcing the rules and reducing wait times for surgery. BC has scored a major win in the ongoing stop with lumber dispute with the U.S. He's looking to the same bird reports the province says the decision will bring security to our forest streams. A London-based court of international arbitration has rejected a complaint from the Americans that BC was selling timber well below market value. BC argued it had a large pile of low-grade lumber because of the mountain pine beetle, and the Americans should have known we would be trying to clear the dead wood. Justice Minister Pat Bell says the ruling takes uncertainty out of BC's forest industry. I think people can have real confidence now that we will be able to trade lumber under the current softwood lumber agreement with the Americans, and especially in a growing market, a market that we're starting to see upward movement. Bell adds the U.S. cannot appeal the ruling to another court or agency. Dan Burrett, News 1130. Two high-ranking United Nations gang members who have arrested in a huge cocaine smuggling scheme have pleaded guilty. 52-year-old man from Kelowna and a 33-year-old man from Abbotsford will be sentenced later. They were arrested in 2009 after an undercover officer was given a $100,000 down payment on 100 kilos of Mexico cocaine. A man from Seattle who was stopped at the border for trying to bring Kinder eggs into the U.S. says his ordeal was a waste of time. Chris McSweeney says he wanted to bring six of the streets home during a recent trip to Vancouver. But after being detained for more than two hours, U.S. Border Services allowed him to leave. I mean, if it was so important that we be stopped and folded and threatened with thousands of dollars in fines, you think it would have at least been important enough for them to take them, but they didn't. Whatever else they were wearing back then. Sherry Preston, ABC News. Up to some six hundred years ago. <laughs> we have traffic on the ones next. Oh, and weather too. It's ten ten. We to the sound of
going to be 18 or over play, going to be a resident of the continental U.S., and a current listener to or subscriber of Sirius XM Satellite Radio. To buy your tickets for all the action in Bristol, which we highly recommend, call 1-423-BRISTOL. That's 423-274-7800. Get towed by a Kenworth. <laughs> 